Good morning from Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are here at the Hot Air Balloon Fiesta, which is the largest hot air balloon festival in the world. I've been wanting to come here for years and we finally were able to make it happen. So we're so excited. The sun is starting to come up. We had to wake up super early to get here. We woke up around 4.30 this morning. It took a little while to get here. We got a bit lost, but we did make it. And since we've gotten here, we've gotten to see this beautiful morning glow of the balloons. They twinkle like stars. Look at them twinkling. It's so beautiful. Oh. It really is so beautiful and we saw that as we were walking to the the field here it's massive it's so big here i can't wait to explore everything and now we're sitting watching the balloons kind of get up and ready to go to go on their morning flights so come along with us and let's see all the magic that we can find today are you excited about the balloon fiesta yeah <laughs> we talked to one of the people who who run this balloon over here they were so nice. They gave us a trading card. Very nice. Wow. Look at the balloon. It's so cool seeing the baskets just like in people's trucks. We're fully immersed in hot air balloons right now. It's a doggy and a hat. <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. This is nuts. Is that a green elephant over there? Did you, are you doing the Tim Tracker one? Yeah. <laughs> that was so incredible. Or not was, is. It's still going on. They've been blowing up these balloons for two hours now. And it's incredible. It's like a changing rainbow across the sky all the time. What did you think, Bean? Yeah, it was definitely incredible. There's a lot of balloons, different varieties. Some have color, some have designs. I like, you know, the variety of them both. Um, but this is crazy. It's, it's massive. It's so big. It's way bigger than I could have imagined. So many more balloons than I ever could have imagined. So, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we, we had to constantly switch direction because balloons were going off behind us to the left, to the right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was definitely incredible. Uh, truly a, a sight to see. We got to watch a pilot and see do the balloon experience from start to finish which was so awesome. That so was awesome. Cool. And we're like in the field, right? Like you're able to be right where all of the balloons are blowing up and 
take them off and everything. It's really, really, really unique. It's very cool. We're gonna try to find some food because we're hungry. We've been yeah. here for four hours and we're gonna see what kind of things they have here. All right, let's do it. We're gonna start by looking at the merchandise and there's quite a line to get inside, but it'll be worth it. There's a ton of really cool merchandise in here. It's huge, but right now we're looking at the shirts. I'm thinking of getting one of these sweatshirts. I think Brennan's gonna get that shirt. This hat is so fun. It has the Yoda Invader balloons on it. That's sick. They've got a lot of fun hot air balloon earrings and they're only $8. What a steal. I have some really pretty hot air balloon festival art. I love that. Look, it's the Grinch. She's expensive. There's a lot of different booths, like maybe a half mile long worth of booths. But it seems like things might be closing in about an hour at 10.30. I guess we'll have to see. We are at the booth for Lucky's Pizzeria because it was like the first thing we came across and it said it had the best breakfast burritos. So Brandon got, what did you get? Bacon, egg, and green chili, I think. A burrito. And I got a hot honey stuffed cheesy bread. I was told it's delicious. Here's my hot honey stuffed cheesy bread made fresh. I'm excited to try it. It's uh, very good. It's uh, a little hard to eat as a burrito because it's like, really stuffed. That's a good problem like, to have. And it just like fell out. Yeah. So, uh, but other than that, yeah, it's really good. And mine is interesting. It tastes, it's like garlic knots with um, hot honey on it. It's interesting. Yeah, my coffee. You loved your coffee. Yeah, I, I'm hoping. Oh, I see the green chilies. Oh, where? They're in that cheese. Maybe because I have my glasses on. But, yeah. Um, my coffee was fa fantastic, fabulous. I'm hoping that they're still open when we head back. <laughs> I'm not getting another one. Penguin is still up there all by himself. It's reminding us of Moody's Point. I hope they're fine. I'm sure they are. It's just funny. The balloon hat man. They have all kinds of pins in here. Let's <laughs> check it out. I like these a lot. They remind me of my uh, carousel I have. They're really yeah, nice. Pen. Yeah, I do. So pretty. Some pins. Cute. They've got Dole Whip. they got Krispy Kreme donuts. I've never had this. Hmm, maybe I'll try them. Okay, we found out this year there are 550 balloons. It feels like a lot more. One year they hosted 1,019, I think they said. Yeah. I can't even imagine how they all fit. But this isn't the only place they've ever done it. This is the Balloon Fiesta's sixth location. They've been here since 1996, but wow, that's a lot of balloons. They have a lot of pins. Some of these are from previous years. And then some special shape pins as well. Oh, they have a Mickey Walters New World pin. Pandora has specific charms for this festival. I'm gonna see how much it is and maybe buy one. Pink Barbie police car, obsessed. They're doing an auction of all this amazing woodwork. So impressive. I love these. So cute. They're hollow. Right next to the wood carving situation, there is a car show. Mostly seems like it's some vintage cars. I kind of want to sit in one. I'm not really a car person, but it's a fun thing to see. Ponies! Good job, ponies. Keep it up. I like the way this frunk opens. What is it called? Right. <laughs> Tesla's is called the frunk. This car over here is called the nasty old goat. I like these ones because they're old looking and they look interesting. I haven't seen any Thunderbirds yet. That's my favorite old car. Old Chevrolets are really the vibe. I quite like them. Wow, that's pink. Should we try to enter our rental car, uh, Toyota Camry, into the car show? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> they made their car a Transformers car. That's, that's cool. I like it. There are so many of these cars. 
we found some bitty remote controlled ones. They're so cute looking. Can you see how itty bitty the basket is? Adorable. A pumpkin? Oh wow. There's a pumpkin balloon over there. That didn't go up before. Jack-o'-lanterns all blown up. We're not sure if he's gonna go. The small balloons aren't able to go. They've all kinda, not crashed, but never made it off the ground. So we'll see about pumpkin. There's this cute statue monument over here. And he's wearing merch from this year for the Hot Air Balloon Festival. So cute. On a courtesy shuttle, heading back to the lot. And I learned some information about like how to get a hot air balloon. So I'll tell you about that later. So what I learned about acquiring a hot air balloon is that there are suppliers for them, just like everything else. And there was this one company, I wanna say it was like Con or something, and they have two weavers that hand weave every single one of their baskets to send out to people who order them. It is entirely custom. They do the balloon itself as well as the basket, which I thought was cool. And then Brandon asked how much money they go for and he said they start around 45, so it's similar to buying like a truck or something like that. Anything to add, sir? No. <laughs> We're back at the festival for the night. And they're gonna be doing a balloon glow. So it's like they kind of light up these balloons on the ground and it looks like ornaments lit up. It started from a tradition where hot air balloons did that on Christmas Eve. They lit up on the ground and it was to honor the residents of New Mexico and now it's a really big balloon festival event. So we're gonna see that. We're gonna see some fireworks and hopefully eat some food. It is a lot more crowded in this area now than it was when we were here earlier. A lot more crowded. This is the menu for the place I'm going to. I'm planning to get the veggie taco and also fry bread. We're waiting in line for the food. It's super popular. I'm excited to have it. And then over here, they're starting to blow up the balloons. The balloons are gearing up to do their nighttime glow. And once again, we are amongst the balloons, which is, in my opinion, the best place to be. Love the mountains, so beautiful. Love this aquarium-y balloon, stunning. It's almost time. I know, I'm so excited. And they're still setting up, sun setting. We're making a lot of progress and uh, we're ready. I also wanna show you the food I got. This is a Navajo veggie taco and this is fry bread with cinnamon sugar and honey on it. So I'm excited to try it. Bean wants to show you some. Another one of our favorites from this morning that we saw from a distance, we didn't see it taking off, unfortunately, was the Wicked Balloon. Me and Julia love the Broadway play Wicked, and I love this on the side, Defying Gravity. That's really funny. Look at them go, look at them go. Look at them go, holy moly. Oh, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them, look at them. Oh, wow. There's the pilot in there. That was really awesome to see. Boink, boink. I love when they hit next to each other. It's really fun. How's the food? I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really excited. Excellent. It should be any minute now until we can actually get... Uh, these balloons turning into lanterns and glowing up the night sky. Don't know if uh, this is showing up, but we have some skydivers. Maybe we can get a better picture on the other camera. The skydivers set off some fireworks for us. That is really cool. And they're just getting bigger and bigger. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, 
awesome. That was so cool. That was so cool. We couldn't figure out at first what the situation was with the drones, but as they were landing, we could tell they were people skydiving. That's not office fireworks. I have no idea how that's possible. But they said that they're still going to do a drone show and they're still going to do a fireworks show. Yeah, so hopefully um, we're in the right spot for it. Yeah. Um, you know, we're in the open field, so it should be right above us, but that was really spectacular. It was. I never thought I'd ever see something like that. I didn't know that was even possible. There's a drone show. So cool. Oh, no, it's just... <laughs> Area 51. Oh, that's... Oh, look at the balloons. That's so cool. Area 51. That's so freaking funny. Oh, you can even see it in there, and it's like turning. That's so funny. Is it the flag? Wow. 